Lord that changeth not. You are the Lord that changeth not. Oh, you are the Lord that changeth not. You are the Lord that changeth Changeth not, you are the Lord that changeth not. 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 You are the Lord that. Oh. You are the Lord that changeth not. 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 Oh, Father. You are the Lord that changeth not. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. Yeah, my humble cry. While on others thou art calling. Do not pass me by, do not pass me by, Savior, Savior. Hear my humble cry, hear my humble cry. Do not pass me by, blessed Savior. Savior, 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 yeah, my humble cry, while on others thou art calling, do not pass me by, blessed Savior. Savior, 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 Savior. Savior, hear my humble, hear my humble cry. He is able, abundantly able to deliver. And to save our God is able, abundantly able to deliver those who trust in Him, who trust in Him. Able, able, abundantly able to deliver, to deliver, and to save. Able, able. To deliver those who trust in him, who trust in him. Able, able, abundantly able to deliver and to save. Abundantly able to deliver those who trust in him. Be able. Abundantly able to deliver, to deliver, and to save. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Blessed Jesus, come down, come and manifest your power in our lives, in our midst. Come and manifest your power. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. 
make impossibility possible. He make impossibility possible. He make the impossibility possible. He make impossibility. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He make impossibility possible. He make impossibility. Jesus. He make the impossibility possible. He make impossibility possible. He make impossibility possible. He make impossibility. Hallelujah. God cannot lie. He is not a liar. Oh, yes, God cannot lie. He is not a liar. Our oh, God cannot lie. He is not a liar. Our oh, God cannot lie. He is not a liar. Cannot lie. He is not a liar. Ah, God cannot lie. He is not a liar. There is power, power. Wonder working far in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working far in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, power in the blood of the Working far in the precious Lord of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious Lord of the Lamb. There is power. Power, power in the blood of the Lamb. Power, power there is power, power, power in the blood of the Lamb. Power, power, wonder working far in the precious blood of the Lamb. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can save, only you can heal. Only you can save, only you can heal Jehovah. What no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. By the anointing, 
Jesus breaks the yoke, anoints and breaks the yoke, anoints and breaks the yoke. Anoints and breaks the yoke. The yoke. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. Anoints and 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 breaks. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. I believe, yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. It is well with me. I believe. It is well with me. Is it well with you? Yes, Lord, I believe it is well with me. It is well with me. I believe, yes, Lord, I believe it is well with me. It is well with me. I believe, yes, Lord, I believe it is well with me. It is well with you. I believe, yes, Lord, I believe it is well with me. Expect a miracle when you pray. Expect a miracle when you pray. Expect a miracle when you pray. For the Lord is seated on the throne. Expect a miracle. When you pray, oh yes, expect a miracle. When you pray, expect a miracle. When you pray, for the Lord is seated on the throne. Expect a miracle when you pray. Expect a healing when you pray. Expect deliverance when you pray for the Lord is seated on the throne. Hallelujah. When you pray, expect a miracle. When you pray, expect a miracle. When you pray for the Lord is seated on the throne. Oh, yes, expect, expect a miracle. When you pray, expect a miracle. When you pray, expect a miracle. When you pray for the Lord is seated on the throne. Nothing prayer cannot do. Jesus answer prayer. Nothing prayer cannot do. Nothing prayer cannot do. Nothing prayer cannot do. Nothing prayer cannot do. Nothing prayers cannot do. Nothing prayer 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 cannot do.
God do? Touch me one more time, oh Lord. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. I need a touch of the master. I need a touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time. Time, oh Lord, touch me one more time. Jesus, touch me, touch me. I need a touch of the master, I need a touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time, oh Lord, touch me one more time. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. I need a touch of the master, I need a touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time, oh Lord, Jesus, touch me. Jesus, touch me, touch me, oh Lord. I need a touch of the master, I need a touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. Jesus, touch me, oh Lord. Touch me, touch me, Jesus, oh Lord. I need a touch of the master. I need a touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. Unchangeable God, unchangeable God. Unchangeable God, unchangeable God. Unchangeable God. Unchangeable God, unchangeable God, unchangeable God, reliable God, reliable God, unlimited God, unlimited God, unlimited God, unlimited God, unlimited God, unlimited God. Unchangeable God.
And everybody said, Amen. I welcome everyone tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray that our hearts will thirst after God. And he'll load us with his blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's close our eyes for prayer. Father, we thank you and bless your name. Thank you for the thirst, the passion, the desire, the longing you have given our hearts. Thank you for all our brethren, brothers and sisters, young and old, in all the places we are gathered together. We are praying, O oh Lord, as you have promised, you bless all your people tonight in Jesus' name. Satisfy the longing of every heart. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. We're reading from Psalm 42. And I'm reading from the swan. As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. Here is a psalmist telling the Lord personally that as the heart, as that animal runs after, longs after, and desires the water because it's very thirsty. It says, so my soul panteth after thee, O God. He wanted something from God, something spiritual, something physical, something for the wisdom and the power and the knowledge to rule the nation. And it says, my heart is panting after you. It says in verse 2, my soul thirsted for God. It says, although I have the things of the world, the place, the position, and the property and everything, yet there is something that all this world cannot offer. And because of that, my very soul is panting after God, and I'm thirsty for him, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? As you look at Psalm 61, Psalm 61, reading from verses 1 and 2. It says in Psalm 61, verse 1, Hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer. It says it's not just a silent passion. It's not just something quite within me. Some people will say, yes, I thirst after God, but I keep it under check. I keep it under control. I don't want to voice it out. I know what I'm meditating on in my heart. But the man said, it's my cry. It's my calling. It's my passion. And I'm really going out for God. He says, attend unto my prayer. Verse 2, it says, from the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. Understanding that this is a king, understanding that this is the highest uh, uh, position that he held in the whole nation. And yet he said, apart from all that, my heart is still seeking after God from the ends of the earth. Wherever I find myself, I will cry unto thee when my heart is overwhelmed. Here is the reason is passionate about it. Here is the reason is a panting after God. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. If you could say that in your heart, that you know there's still a higher level, a higher experience, something greater than what you have got, and you are telling the Lord, and you are telling the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, you are telling the Lord, and you are crying unto the Lord about it, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. He follows that up in Psalm 63. He says in Psalm 63, O God, thou art my God. He said, my punching is not because I'm backsliding. My seeking you is not because I am backsliding. I still have the witness of the Spirit in my heart. I'm a child of God. Thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. Are you so busy in your life that you say, I don't have time for quiet time, fellowship with God? We were talking about David here. If you look at the title of the psalm, it's the psalm of David, a king. Many battles to fight, many things to look into, and yet it says, 
early will I seek thee, and in the morning will I seek thee, and in my life will I seek thee, and in my profession will I seek thee, and in the ministry will I seek thee, my soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. He goes on in verse 2 to see thy power and thy glory. He says, the reason I'm seeking after you and the reason I'm panting, the reason I'm longing, the reason I, I want to see more of you is that I want to see your power. In every area of my life, I want to see your power. In every area of ministry, I want to see your power and thy glory so as i have seen thee in the sanctuary it tells us in verse 3 because thy loving kindness is better than life my leave shall praise thee thus will i bless thee while i live it says while i live i don't have any plan going back sliding back forgetting you while i'm alive i'm going to keep on seeking your blessing and I'll keep on seeking thee. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. It says, I'm seeking this not for the physical. I'm seeking this not for my body. I'm seeking this for my soul. And I know my soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. And my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. I pray that that will be a testimony in Jesus' name. Tonight, we're looking at the message, satisfying thirsty souls in a dry land. Satisfying thirsty souls in a dry land. Three things we're looking at. Number one, the panting and the passion of a thirsty soul. Are you thirsty? You'll pant, you'll have passion, you're thirsty for God, for experiences in the Lord, for spiritual things in the Lord, and your heart is desiring, and you want to have more of God, there'll be panting, there'll be longing, there'll be desire, there will be prayer, there'll be passion. The passion or the panting and the passion of a thirsty soul. Point number two. The prayer and the praise of a trusting soul. You're thirsty. And you know it's only from God you can have your thirst satisfied. There will be prayer, there will be praise, and you'll be trusting the Lord. You know that what you are asking for, to satisfy your soul, satisfy your longing, and to satisfy your spiritual desire. You want to go higher in the Lord, further in the Lord, stronger in the Lord. You are trusting the Lord. It will happen. It will happen in Jesus' name. The prayer and the praise of a trusting soul. Point number three, the priority. If you really have the longing, if you really have the passion, if you really have the desire, you will make it a priority in your life. It will come to the front burner. It will come to the first, number one, in the list of your desires. You desire material things, physical things, domestic things. You desire some mental things. You desire some things in the community. But if you're really punching after God, designing after God, longing after God, there'll be number one, which will be spiritual, the priority and the pursuit of a transformed soul. The priority and the pursuit of a transformed soul. Number one, the panting and the passion of a thirsty soul. We're coming back to Psalm 42. In Psalm 42, we're reading from verse 1. And here we see the expression of the panting and the passion of his soul that is thirsty before God. It says in verse 1, As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. 
And you know the heart is panting after the water brooks. Number one, by going in the direction of the water brooks. I will not go up a tree. We'll not go to a desert. We'll not go to a dry place. He has located the water brooks and is going in that direction. How do you know that the heart is panting and longing? Because it's not walking slowly, it's not going sluggishly, it's actually running, galloping, and going without any distraction. How do you know that a heart is panting you know, after the water brooks? When he gets to the water brooks, he doesn't look here and there and become a kind of uninterested. He stays there and he drinks the water to the full. How do you know a soul that is panting after God is going in the direction where he can find the word of God, the will of God, the way of God, the grace of God, the power of God, the satisfaction in God is going in that direction. How do you know a soul that is panting after God and thirsty after God is running, literally. It's not a, a person that, you know, is sluggish and lukewarm and lethargic. The service should have started. Whatever I meet, I meet. Whatever I miss, I miss. He doesn't have that attitude. He's literally hurrying up to get to the place of the blessing of God so that he loses nothing. As a heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. I do recognize a person that is his soul is thirsty and panting after God when he gets to the place when God will bless him. Like the heart gets to the water brooks, he stays there. He's patient there. He's rested there. He's seeking the Lord there. He wants everything there. He's not distracted by anything. His heart is lying. Everything is God. He's there and he's saying, oh Lord, today I want more of you. Whatever I've got, I want more of that. Whatever I've got, I want more of you. As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. My soul thirsteth for God. My soul thirsteth for God. And everything that belongs to God, I want to get to him, to heaven, when I die. My soul, my heart, my mind, Panteth for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? It tells us in Psalm 143, Psalm 143, reading from verse 6, Psalm 143, verse 6, the Psalm of David. I stretch forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land. My soul thirsteth after thee. As you examine your life and you see what your neighbors are running after. They run after money. They run after position in the world. They run after property, landed property. They run after going here and going there. They run after silver and gold. They run after what they think will make their life comfortable. And then many people, as they do that, the higher they go in the world, the faster they go in the world, the lower they go in the things of God. And they reserve, and then they come back, they're retreating, they're getting less. But now it says, I stretch forth my hands unto thee. My soul is thirsty after thee, as a thirsty land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me. It says, I long for fellowship, your own fellowship. I long for intimacy, intimacy with the Almighty God. Hide not thy face from me. 
lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do I trust. In thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk. Says that's why I pant after you. That's why I thirst after you. I do not know the way, the way to your destination. And the way to my destiny that you have ordained for me, only you know that way, that destiny, and that thing you have planned for me. Because I don't know, that's why I long, I desire, I pant, I pray. I want to know the way wherein I should walk. For I lift up my soul unto thee. I lift up my soul unto thee. Isaiah chapter 44. What are we panting after? What are we longing after? What are we desirous for? What are we praying for? What are we looking for? Isaiah chapter 44. Reading from verse 3. Isaiah Chapter 44, reading from verse 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. That's the promise of God. It says he himself will pour the refreshing water, the reviving water, the cleansing water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground, I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring. It starts by talking about water, the water that refreshes us, the water that renews us, the water that revives us, the water that cleanses us. And I am most son, and he says, I'm talking about the spirit. The Holy Spirit upon us to be born of God, born of the Spirit, to be sanctified, sanctified by the Spirit, to be baptized and to be filled and to be immersed and to be empowered by the Spirit, to be renewed by the Spirit, to be revived by the Spirit. I will pour my Spirit upon thy seed, the people who thirst and the people who long after God. And it says, I'll pour my blessing upon thy offspring. Verse 4, and they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. One shall say, I am the Lord's. Your testimony will be clear. You'll say, I am of the Lord. Another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. Another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord, and so name himself by the name of Israel. I pray that will be true for you in Jesus' name. Psalm 55, verse 1. 55, verse 1. O oh, everyone that thirsteth, Come ye to the waters, in the plural. Everyone that thirsted, come ye to the waters, the water of life. Come ye to the waters, the water of strength. Come ye to the waters, the water of the spirit. Come ye to the waters, the water of the word, whereby we are cleansed and sanctified. Come ye to the waters, he that has no money, come ye, buy, and eat. Ye come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. He invites us to come, he invites us to seek, he invites us to buy, he invites us to pray, he invites us to seek his face. And then he tells us in verse 12, for ye shall go out with joy 
and be led forth with peace. Well, have peace and peace that passes understanding in Jesus' name. That's why we're punching after him. That's why we're seeking him. That's why we're longing after him. When there's confusion or commotion, when there's sorrow or sadness, and you want him to give you peace that the world cannot give, you want him to give you joy and happiness. You want him to give you satisfaction in life. He says, he shall go out with joy. Amen. And be led forth with peace. Amen. And the mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing. And all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Isaiah chapter 48 of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 48. I'm reading from verse 18. Oh, that thou art akin unto my commandments, then at thy peace been as a river, and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea. That's why we're seeking the Lord, so that our peace will multiply. Your peace will multiply. Peace in your heart. Peace in your soul. Peace at home. Peace in your neighborhood. Peace in your community. Peace in the place of work. Peace in your family in Jesus' name. And your righteousness as the waves of the sea. Righteousness will multiply and be deep and be great and be high in Jesus' name. Look at verse 21. And it thirsted not when he led them through the desert. You'll never go through a wilderness without abundant supply in Jesus' name. He caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them. He claimed the rock also, and the waters gushed out. That experience will come back again. It's in Isaiah chapter 41, reading from verse 17, Isaiah chapter 41, reading from verse 17. In verse 17, when the poor and the needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. He'll do that tonight. You'll be longing and panting and desiring, and you've not got enough of what you are seeking. Tonight is a night of blessing, a night of outpouring, and a night when the Lord will satisfy everyone in Jesus' name. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open rivers in high places and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar and cheetah tree and the macho and the oil tree. I will search in the desert the fir tree and, this, and the pine and the box tree together. And now in verse 20, that they may see. I will see tonight. I will have tonight. I will receive tonight. What my heart is longing for, I will have tonight in Jesus' name. Say that for yourself. That they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord has done this. You must have that tonight. Fulfillment tonight in Jesus' name. A pouring of blessing tonight in Jesus' name. And the Holy One of Israel has created it. We're coming to Matthew chapter 5. 
reading from verse 6. Matthew chapter 5, I'm reading from verse 6. In Matthew chapter 5, reading from verse 6, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. Tell me what you'll find there. Tell me, tell me. Are you wondering why maybe you don't have the righteousness you have been hearing about? Have you wondered why you don't have the ideal, the perfect, what you are seeking, what you are looking for, the righteousness? Have you wondered why your righteousness of today is not higher, is not greater, is not purer, is not wider, is not more extensive than the righteousness of yesteryears because there's no thirst. Because you are not thirsty, because you are not hungry. It says, blessed are they, all, all of us, everyone that hungers and thirsts, everyone that pants, everyone that desires, everyone that is not putting righteousness on the shelf, everyone longing, everyone passionate about it, everyone praying about it, everyone that says, I'm not satisfied, it says, blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. Tell me what will follow. Tell me out aloud. For they shall be filled. The righteousness will not be minimal at the lower part of the glass of the cup. The righteousness will not have feel the cup, have feel the heart. The righteousness will be feel, will fill your cup, will fill your heart, will be overflowing in Jesus' name. But you know, it takes thirst, it takes desire. After caring about such righteousness, for your heart to punch at it and for your heart to desire it so much more than any other sin. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, we shall be filled. We shall be filled. You'll be filled in Jesus' name. Righteousness at home, righteousness in the heart, righteousness in the house of God, righteousness in the place of work, righteousness that is seen and known, righteousness overflowing in our lives in Jesus' name. John chapter 7. John chapter 7. I'm reading from verse 37. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Any man thirst, let him come. When we're really thirsty, we'll go to the Lord in prayer. If any man is thirsty, let him come unto me. We'll go to the Lord who is able to satisfy that thirst, who is able to fill us with the Holy Ghost, who is able to saturate us with the spiritual gifts, who is able to make the dry land like a stream of water, a pool of water. If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Rivers of living water. Rivers of living water. No part of your life will be dry. Your mind will not be dry. Your soul will not be dry. Your spirit will not be dry. Your heart will not be dry. And even your body will not be dry. Blessing in every compartment of your life. Outpouring in every area of your life. Your soul, your spirit will be refreshed. 
your body will recover if you're sick. The blessing of the Lord will flow through every part of your life in Jesus' name. It says, out of his belly shall flow rivers, plural, of living water. But they speak he of the Spirit, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Holy Ghost was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Now he's glorified, the Holy Ghost will be given. I said the Holy Ghost will be given. Look at Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2, verse 33. Acts chapter 2, verse 33. Therefore, being by the right hand of God exalted, and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, he has shared for us this which ye now see and hear. We'll see it in your life. We'll hear about it, your testimony. Outpouring of the Spirit of God upon your life in Jesus' name. You're thirsty? I said you're thirsty? Blessings will come. Revelation chapter 21.